Computers just keep getting smaller and smaller, but what good is a tiny PC if it's not powerful enough to run your apps? Here we have the Android Mini PC RK3066, the latest in a recent trend of computers on a stick. While it's not quite stick shaped and it's a little bit bigger than predecessors like the MK802, uh, this dual core system is powerful enough to play serious 3D games in Android, make video calls, and be your everyday set-top box or a portable workstation and gaming console in your pocket. Let's take a closer look at how this amazing $60 1.3 ounce device works. So the Android Mini PC RK3066 is named that because inside it's got a powerful 1.6 GHz dual core rock chip RK3066 processor which we found really brought a lot of power and performance to this. It's got one big gigabyte of RAM, four gigabytes of internal flash memory, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. It also has a really nice selection of ports. So here you see it's got a full-size HDMI out port. A lot of its competitors have either a male HDMI port, which could get damaged when you pop it in and out, or they've got a micro or mini port, which is a hard cable to find. This comes with a male-to-male -male HDMI cable for connecting to your TV or monitor, uh, but it's great that it has a really common uh, HDMI port here. Over here we have the micro USB port, which is used for power. Uh, the system comes with a micro USB to USB cable, which you can plug into either an AC adapter or a computer to give it power. Over here on this side we have a micro SD card slot, which you can use for memory expansion or you can use it to boot into alternate operating systems. Uh, this system comes with Android 4.11 pre-installed, but there are already builds of Linux out there that you can use, and you can just stick them stick them on a US on a micro SD card, stick them in here, and boot. Over here, we have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, which works as both a microphone and an audio out jack. And over here, we have a full-size USB port for attaching peripherals, such as your mouse, keyboard. Uh, external storage, or even a webcam. Even if you're not an early adopter geeky type, setting up the RK3066 is a breeze and it'll only take you a couple minutes. The first step is to connect an HDMI cable to a TV or monitor and then connect it to the RK3066, just like that. The next thing you're going to want to do is attach some kind of input device, probably a mouse, to the USB port just so that you'll have something to navigate around with. Even if you want to attach Bluetooth keyboard and Bluetooth mouse or later, you're going to need something to start with. Now it's time to power this thing up, so we're just going to take our micro USB cord, which is connected to an AC adapter in our outlet, and pop it right in, and our thing is going to boot up. So it's a good idea to pair the RK3066 with a Bluetooth keyboard, possibly a Bluetooth mouse, and maybe even a Bluetooth game controller. Here we have a Motorola keyboard that is uh, both a keyboard and has a pointing device in it that we've paired it with. And we also have a Steel Series gaming controller that we can use to move around in games that support controllers. So here we have Android 4.11 Jelly Bean. This is the operating system that comes pre-installed. And the only real expanded feature that you have that you wouldn't find in stock Jelly Bean is you have screenshot ability built into the OS, which is really cool. So here if you hit this this camera here, it will take a screenshot for you and there are settings for that. Uh, as well as there's a screen resolution setting uh, which is supposed to let you switch up to 1080p but didn't quite give us the 1080p output that we wanted. Uh, but otherwise you've got a really stock implementation of Android and you have all the benefits of Android including Google Now. So if you take the home button and you drag up here, we're going to launch our Google Now and you'll see uh, on this particular screen it looks a bit whitewashed, but on other screens it's looked fantastic. And it takes all of the Google Voice commands, provided that you have a microphone attached. So here we're going to show you some of the things that Google Now can do. We're going to hit the microphone. Who is the Prime Minister of Japan? The Prime Minister of Japan is Shinzo Abe. So you see that just as it can on a phone, it will give you card answers and it will also let you do certain tasks like making a note to yourself. In addition to this Google Apps, and you've got Google Play here, you've got a bunch of Google Apps that come preloaded, Google Maps, Gmail, you've got 
you can install YouTube, you can install any, any of the other Google apps that you want. It comes with Chrome as your browser, but you also have the stock browser, which there's no reason to use. Uh, but there's a lot of apps here that you can pre-install. We've installed Netflix on here. We've installed some games. By default, it comes with a file management app called Explorer, which lets you navigate around the internal flash memory or anything you've attached to it. Uh, that's This isn't really such a boon since you can download other programs like Astro File Manager from the Google Play Store. Uh, and it has something else that we really like, eHome Media Center, which allows you to connect to other computers on your network and access their shared folders. We use this to stream a video file directly from the hard drive of a Windows 7 PC on our network and it streamed the 1080p video flawlessly so uh, it works really well. Everywhere we go in the operating system it's really smooth. We haven't had any problems changing tasks or going back to home. We've experienced no lag whatsoever. Uh, but what can you do with all that power? Well, how about playing a game? Here's a first-person shooter called Dead Trigger. And it's a zombie game, and it's got some pretty intense graphics in it. And we've attached a Steel Series gaming controller here via Bluetooth, and you'll see how, just how well it works. So once we launch this quest here and we get going, we're able to walk down the hall using our controller here, move it, rotate, around and shoot our gun and you'll see explosions motion is really smooth the sound is really solid and you'll see over here we have we're going to have a couple of uh, guests coming who we can easily shoot at and it's just completely smooth you see how our hand changed over there so we've attached a webcam to the RK3066 it is compatible with a number of USB webcams, but not all of them. So there's some compatibility lists online. Most Logitech and Microsoft webcams will work, but other off-brands like the, the Face Vision uh, cam that we tried earlier didn't work. Uh, but here we have a Logitech C510, uh, and it works perfectly. And we've got Skype loaded up, and this is good enough to do video calls. So we're going to call our friend Conrad here, and you'll see that we're going to... Um, just give him a video call here. Hey, Conrad. Hello. Hey, so the microphone on the webcam is picking us up. We're going to make Conrad go to the front by clicking on him. Uh, but the webcam is working perfectly here. The RK3066 is by far the best Android stick we've seen. Definitely a steal at just $60. This is Abram Pilch with Laptop Magazine.